So you've got a muscle imbalance. What can you do to fix it? Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can correct muscle imbalances. First, if you're not already following our Instagram page, then I'm going to invite you to follow us at Live Anabolic Official. I upload different content weekly that you won't find anywhere else. All right, with that said, I'm going to give you four quick tips to correct any imbalances you currently have. And then I'm going to take you through the exercises and explain how to do them correctly. All right, the first tip. I like to start with mobility stretches because they're functional and can help improve joint stability. Improving range of motion can help fix your imbalance, improve your flexibility, and even increase your strength. Next, switch to unilateral exercises. Instead of using a barbell, switch up your presses to dumbbells and work one side at a time. Doing this will prevent the stronger side from overcompensating for the weaker side. Again, I'm gonna demonstrate this right after these next two tips, man. The third tip is to work on the weaker side a little more. While you're dividing the work between each arm or side individually, spend a few extra reps or an extra set on the weaker side so the size and strength there increases. And last, work on the weaker side first. Start with the weaker side for each lift so you can put more energy into that side before it becomes too fatigued. This can help you lift heavier and longer with the weaker side, which will lead to more gains. Now with that said, let's move on to the actual exercises. All right, the first exercise we're gonna work on is a unilateral bench press, all right? So basically, you obviously you're gonna be using dumbbells. So the goal with this is to make sure you start with your weaker side, the one that has an imbalance, start with that side first and shoot for eight to 12 reps with that weaker side and whatever weight that you need to make that happen with is the weight you're gonna use on your stronger side. All right, we don't want your stronger side to continue to get stronger than your weaker. We want it to catch up so that they're both working more equally as opposed to the imbalance that you've created, all right? So one dumbbell is all you're gonna need here. There's also other benefits to working one side at a time. Not only is it gonna help fix the imbalance, or improve the imbalance, but it's also gonna help work your core, all right? Because your core is what's keeping you from shifting too far over to the other side. I'll show you what I mean here. With the weight being up here, usually you have a weight in both hands, so it's counterbalanced. With this weight up here, as you come down on this movement, your body is naturally trying to rotate, all right? So you wanna keep your core tight and keep your upper back pinned into the bench on the way down. So you're gonna come down here, nice, slow, under control, press back up. Also, also when you're doing your bench press, just to show you again, as you come down, you don't wanna press straight up, you're pressing up and then more towards the midline of your body. This position, just like that. All right, down and out, elbow forward slightly, midline of the body. So you're just gonna do this first side, and you're gonna alternate with your stronger. But again, the key is making sure you're starting with the weaker side first and using that weight. Once you improve in strength on your weaker side, naturally you can do that with your stronger side and then you'll eventually get to where you have more balance with each side of your body, all right? So that's your chest exercise that we're focused on. Now we're gonna do a dumbbell row. So for the dumbbell rows, same thing. Unilateral dumbbell row, you can do this on a bench, it's just one arm at a time. Key point here, keep those shoulders straight. The reason I say that, I don't want you to rotate. You'll see a lot of people rotating their body on the way up. Shoulders straight, drive this with the elbows, elbows being the driver, pulling the weight up and towards the mid of your stomach. So again, starting with the weaker side. So if you've got one lat, for instance, it's bigger than the other or weaker, then you want to use the weaker one to start with this exercise. So we've got our chest work done. We've done our back. So now let's say you have one shoulder that's in worse shape than the other. It can be strength. It can be shape, any of those things. Then you want to start with the weaker and we're going to do an overhead press. All right. 
You can do a standing overhead press if you want, or if you have back issues at all, then use a seated with a back support, all right? The goal here, same thing, keeping the shoulders square. And again, you're gonna also notice your core is gonna be engaged. Square here, straight up. Elbows more in front of the body, not out, flare to the side, more in front of the body. Down, press, down, press. And again, you'll just switch sides after you've done your weaker side, straight to the other. And this is gonna help engage the core, which is gonna help strengthen your core for all the other exercises as well. Now we're gonna move on to biceps. So same thing, one bicep, is weaker or one bicep is smaller than the other, then you're gonna wanna do these one side at a time. Again, doing a unilateral bicep curl. Uh, whatever you need to do for your balance. Curl, lower under control, curl the weight up. You can curl the weight up explosively, but control the descent, the eccentric phase. Eight to 12 reps on all of these. Make sure you're choosing a weight that is gonna be challenging in that eight to 12 rep range with every exercise as well. That's the first key. Second key is always starting with the weaker side first, the one that has the imbalance, and then moving on to the stronger afterwards. Knowing you can do more reps or more weight with the stronger, you still don't want to go that route. You wanna do the exact same rep range and the exact same amount of weight with the stronger side that you've done with the weaker side, all right? That's what's going to fix that imbalance. So now that we've done the biceps, we also wanna do the triceps. We wanna do an overhead tricep extension. All right, so overhead tricep extension, one side at a time. I like to bring this dumbbell down behind my head, really focus on a good stretch in the tricep, and then press that weight back up and out. Nice, slow and under control. Nice, big stretch at the bottom. Press up and out. All right, again, you're doing these unilaterally, so one side at a time. The reason I say that, you'll see people doing overhead tricep extensions with two arms, one dumbbell, just like that. Well, what happens when you have one side stronger than the other is the stronger side is gonna compensate for the weaker side, so it's gonna continue to get stronger and continue to get bigger. So that's why you wanna make sure you're doing all of these unilaterally to make sure you're correcting any of your imbalances. All right, so now the last exercise, obviously we've gotta go with legs, all right? So four legs, one of my favorite exercises I like to do unilaterally is a Bulgarian split squat. I love Bulgarian split squats. If however you, I'll show you how to do that, but if however you lack balance, a lot of my guys that I work with tend to lack balance and it's hard for them to do a Bulgarian split squat. So if that's you, then you can go ahead and do a reverse lunge. All right, just do a reverse lunge one side at a time. And you, it doesn't require near as much balance as a Bulgarian split squat. A Bulgarian split squat, you want to place your back foot on a bench and you're actually just gonna drop right down right down into this position here, right back to the top, and you're gonna do all your reps with one side before moving on to the next side. So this is gonna unilaterally work this side. So again, this is your weaker side, start there, nice, slow, under control. You can use dumbbells here if you need more resistance, kettlebell if you have that, whatever you need for resistance. But again, you'll notice you have to have pretty good balance to do that since one of your legs is placed back behind you. So if that's the case, then that's the other alternative, it is a similar situation, legs back, and we're just doing a reverse lunge, just like this. All right, you can go that route. Just make sure your front leg is doing all of the lifting and you're not pushing up with your back leg as well. These are all the exercises you can utilize to help correct any imbalances that you have, whether it be on a chest, one of your pecs, one of your deltoids, one of your lats, anything like that. This is gonna help improve those imbalances. So hope you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. 
Other than that, man, that's all that I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.